actual break time is over, it's time to uh, time to get back to killing coyotes. What we are doing this evening, as you can see, it's pitch black dark, but uh, we ain't hunted in a while. It's been uh, we just got finished up with our turkey season. Uh, we had a long turkey season. We hunted all over the country. We hunted uh, hunted some states out west and hunted some up in the northeast as well. So uh, been well traveled this spring and and. I just ain't been keeping up with my coyotes, so it's time to do a little scouting. Perfect way to do that is howl at night here in the dark and uh, see if you can't get something to answer back. Got my CS24 sitting back here, so I'm gonna let out a few howls and hopefully we can get something to answer us back. Coyotes right here. Coyotes back in there. That's good. I know exactly where these coyotes are at. It's uh, another group of coyotes back there. We'll probably slip back in here tomorrow evening. I know exactly where these coyotes right here are at. Right in this long valley, real tight, tight little holler. Uh, there's a, there's you know, big hill size on both sides, and there's a, there's a cut that comes down, and almost every year there's coyotes that'll, that'll den pups, you know, have dens right up in that hillside right there in that cut. That's exactly where that. They're still over there yipping. We'll, uh, we'll hit them tomorrow and see if we can't kill some of these coyotes.
Sit here about another 15 minutes after we kill this coyote, which I'm pretty sure is a, is a male, I think. But uh, we killed that thing in the first, what, minute and 15 seconds? A minute and a half, maybe at the most. We actually jumped this coyote up right here in this little flat and he ran off in the, as we just came up here to get ready to sit down. We just said we want a chair down and he jumped and turned around and seen him running off. Anyway, we howled. Some pups light up up here. I was hoping we can drag a helper coyote down or a mama or something, but it looked like nothing else was going to show. But successful, huh? What you think, Chris? I'm glad you listened to me. <laughs> yeah, well, I listened to you too. I was going to leave. We might as well grab this thing and see what we got. just as I expected. We go long meal Kentucky coyote. Well, here we are. This makes uh, pretty much the first official hunt of this season of Tooth and Claw TV. Come out and located coyotes last night and heard this bunch of, this bunch of Alan knew had several pups in here, so Heard them kick off last night. Thought I heard a big, you know, adult coyote howling way on up here in this holler. And we slipped right in here on him. Jumped this big old sucker right up out of his bed, pretty much. It's a big old coyote right there. Tell you what, it's playing Pup Distress number three. Fox Pro Pup Distress number three. I bet that sound has killed more coyotes than any other sound file ever recorded and about a minute, 15 seconds of it. We actually spooked this coyote. Jumped this coyote right up out of his bed. He was bedded in this tall grass. He had to see us. Ran right up there in the woods, hit pup three, he come right back out, and we shot that thing about 45 yards. Awesome hunt. This hunt took place right here in central Kentucky. It's June and the weather's starting to get pretty hot. There's still some good coyote hunting to be had. And in this video, you all saw a tactic that I like to use through the late spring and summer months. And that is get out at night and try to locate coyotes. I'll get out at night, let out a few howls, and try to get coyotes to answer me. If you can get coyotes to answer, you know you've got coyotes to hunt. I'll then get my wind right and slip in there close where I heard the coyotes answer from and get to calling. Thanks for joining us on Tooth and Claw TV.